So in previous session, we have seen how we can invoke batchfx by using database.execute batch method. Now think a scenario, I have a batch job, but I do not want to execute right now using my database.execute batch. If I use database.execute batch, then what will happen? This will execute the batch immediately I invoke this operation. Nothing but the moment I'm going to hit this execute button by executing this execute batch, automatically my batch job started. But what I want, I don't want to execute right now. I want to execute after some time. That means I want to schedule my batch job to run in a future once. Not don't think this is the Apex scheduler. That is another concept. We'll talk that soon. After this batch job, we'll talk about that. But think a scenario, I want to execute my batch job, not right now, but after 10 minutes or after 30 minutes, how I can do. So there is a method under system namespace as a schedule batch, system dot schedule batch. Remember this, system dot schedule batch. This method will, will help us to schedule a batch job to run once at a future time. Okay, let's see how this happens. For now, I'm going to change a little bit to my logic here, okay. Uh, right now, if you see my all accounts are set as, set as uh, uh, public, okay. So what I want to make private, so for so that you can see the execution part. So simply what I go, what I do here, this is instead, instead of uh, public, I'm going to make it private. For that, you can see the impact of these changes when I'm, when I'm going to execute. Okay, so now, so instead of hiring database to execute batch, I comment it out. What I want to do, I want to execute my batch job using my system class schedule batch method. You can see here, schedule batch method. There is again, you can see two part. One say which batch class you want to execute, what is the job name, and you can see another parameter, integer parameter. Let me maximize it. So this is says, just a minute. This is let's see minutes from now. This is one overloaded method. Okay. So what is the batch table class? Which what is the job name you want to give? And after how many minutes from now you want to execute it? Okay. This is comes in the system namespace. Okay. And if you want to set the scope, see another parameter you can set. Let's I will go with scope size. Let's my batch class is SEC batch. I want to give the job name as Let's see, account ownership batch. And I want to execute after 15 minutes from now, and each record going to be three records at a time, for example, okay? I click on execute now. Before do that, before I click execute, let me show you in my Apex job. I'm showing to two screen now to monitor my job in the Apex job screen. You can see I have one entry batch apex. Okay, so if I search your job and you can see my schedule jobs here. I have one metallics data load job something. Ignore it for now. Okay. You can see only one we have. Now I'm going to click execute. What I'm executing? I'm executing my system dot schedule batch method. What is the method? System dot schedule batch method, which will help me to schedule a batch job to run once at a future time. From now, after how many minutes you want to run it? So now, once execute, if I go to my all schedule job, let me see, do I have any entry or not? So you can see there is one entry came, account ownership batch submitted at 9.36 a.m. going to run at 9.51 a.m after 15 minutes from now, it's going to run. Okay, after 15 minutes when you run, this, the, then you can see under the job, under the Apex job here, let me see here. Okay, now I once started that job, it will come to here. Right now you can see it's under the schedule job. So simply to say, whenever you want to schedule any bad job to run for once in a future time, after some minutes from now, we can use system.schedule batch. 
Okay. System dot schedule badge is a method which is going to take multiple parameters like what we have given here, like what is the batch class instance, the job name, after how many time, how many minutes from now you want to execute, and each job instance going to take how many record. Okay. So when this system dot schedule badge also going to return me a job ID nothing but cron trigger id we'll talk about cron trigger id very soon for example if i'm going to query one cron trigger id let's see i'm going to make a query here which i'll talk in detail let's hit select id okay times triggered and next fire then i'll talk about this soon to get more idea from current trigger you can see everything so nothing but what i'm trying to say here when you do schedule badge or liquid badge i'm going to get a job id and been looking on that job id i can get the details of the job okay so i i'll show you how am i going to do this so this is also next session we're coming soon okay you can see all the information what we have so key point here one method name system dot schedule badge which will help us to run once at a future time from now for any batch job you want to schedule once so in the next session we'll see more interesting fact of batch topics thank you